and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Monday where I share with you my health and fitness tips of the week. And today's health and fitness tip is actually about getting started with the gym and the things to avoid when starting the gym. So a lot of us will decide, okay, I'm going to go join a gym now. I want to lose some weight. I want to gain some muscle. I want to go on a fitness journey. I'm just sick of being this weight that I am or I just want to fit my clothes nice again. I want to build some muscle. <laughs> Whatever it is that you want to do, the first thing we tend to do is go, okay, I'm going to join a gym now. And you do. And that's cool. But when you get there, you're like, okay, now what do I do? Oh, I'll just go walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes, five times a week. And then maybe I'll do the bike. And then I might just slowly work my way upstairs and go do some abs. That's where you start off wrong. And that is one of the mistakes that a lot of us women tend to do. Men too. But... The most important thing to do when you join a gym is to ask for help. Ask for help first. Don't be afraid to talk to the gym instructor or talk to a personal trainer and ask for help. Ask them to guide you and, and show you what to do when you first get there because there's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to know everything when you go into the gym. I mean, gyms are intimidating enough as it is because you're working out with all these other people around who have probably been working out for a long time and they know exactly what they're doing. And you come in, you're like, I don't know what I'm doing, and now I'm nervous, and I'm just gonna go hide on the treadmill. Do not get stuck on the cardio. Do not be one of those people that go, okay, I'm just gonna go to the gym and go on the treadmill for 30 minutes, because that's not gonna get you the results. Unless you're only using the gym purely for cardio because you do other things with a trainer elsewhere, or you do stuff from home, and walking on the treadmill at the gym is just your way to you know, have some time to yourself, and that's fine. But if you're only going to the gym just to do cardio, then unfortunately, you're not going to get the results. So the first thing you need to do is ask for help. Get yourself a program. You can either do this from an online coach, someone online like myself. I do a lot of online programs for, for people that go to gyms or just programs for people that I know in general. Or you could ask the gym instructor or the personal trainers that work within that gym facility. That's what they're there to do. They're there to help you and guide you within the gym so you know exactly what you're doing. The next thing I recommend you do is to not copy what the other person next to you is doing. Don't think, okay, this guy just did that, then maybe I should try to do that. Because chances are they don't know what they're doing either. Always do what you've been told by a professional and always follow your gut. So don't don't feel that you've got to start go doing heavy shoulder presses just because you saw some other person doing heavy shoulder presses. You might have a shoulder injury and shoulder press is not the right thing for you to be doing. So that is why it's important to not copy what other people are doing and to do what a professional has told you to do. The third thing is to get yourself some active wear. Don't be afraid to go splash out on some nice cool active wear because it's actually amazing how active wear makes you feel when you exercise. I don't know about you, but when I buy active wear, I am just so motivated to just work hard and I'm so excited to go to the gym because I get to wear my new active wear. So when you start the gym, feel free to treat yourself to just a nice set of active wear. Some nice leggings, some nice shorts, and a top and a supportive sports bra so that you feel good when you go into the gym and work out and you're more excited and you're more dedicated to actually turning up to your gym session. My next tip is to not slack off. Don't get yourself into the routine of going to the gym and then stopping all of a sudden and wasting your money and have that money coming out of your account for your membership and you're not even using it. To make the most of your membership, make the most of the money that you're spending on your membership and just use the gym to its full advantage. Use the facility because that is why it's there to help you. My next top tip would be to not follow the trends and the fads. So you might have people in your in your gym that are on these specific diets or specific workouts. Don't follow the trends. Don't follow the fads. Just do what the professional has told you to do. Again, I just cannot stress it enough. You know, like someone on someone on YouTube or Instagram who is all of a sudden they decided that they are a professional when it comes to losing weight because they've done one bodybuilding competition. Yeah, yeah, chances are they're probably not qualified to help you do so. So don't take advice from a comment or a caption that you've seen online and then go ahead and do that. Always listen to what the professional has to say. At the end of the day, what one person does might not even suit your body type. And that is why it is important to not follow someone else and what they're doing and not following the trends and the fads when it comes to diet because it might not suit your body type. You might not respond well to a keto diet or a paleo diet or a vegan diet or a vegetarian diet or an Atkins diet or a carnivore diet 
they might not suit you. So that is why it's really important to not follow the trends and the fads and follow what someone else is doing. But lastly, I'd just like to say, don't think about what people are thinking. Because nine times out of 10, they're not even thinking or looking at you. Don't go into the gym thinking, oh, that person's watching me. Oh, that person's judging me. Because chances are, they aren't. They're just in there doing their own thing, trying to do what they can to achieve just why you join the gym. So don't take that on board. And also, one other thing I'd like to say, because I've heard this actually happen, and it really breaks my heart, is never, ever shame on someone else. Never talk behind someone else's back in the gym and be like, oh my God, look at that person. That person is so overweight, or that person is way too thin. Because that actually really hurts, and it's negative. And gyms are not negative environments. Gyms are supposed to be positive environments where you are going somewhere to, to change your life, basically. So going into a gym where there's negativity is not ideal, and it's not gonna help you with achieving your goals by, by being negative about someone else. So always be humble, be, be nice, and be that person in the gym with a smile on your face that people actually wanna say hello to. It has happened before. When I used to work in a gym, I actually heard these nasty people talking about this girl who was a little bit bigger than they were, and they were actually saying some really mean things about her weight, and she overheard them. And you know what really sucked? Is that she told the gym manager and the gym manager didn't do anything about it. And to me, that's not cool. If that was my gym, I would have been like, you guys can leave. This is a positive environment. And that's another thing you need to make sure is that you're in a positive gym in a positive environment. If you join a gym and you just, you know, it doesn't feel right, you don't like the vibe, then before you just give up on your fitness goals, find another gym straight away, move to that gym and continue to do what you're doing because the last thing you want to do is put a halt on your goals because of some negative energies around. So really important to remain positive and supportive because everyone is on their own journey. Everyone is so different. Everyone's going to lose weight differently or gain muscle differently or just do things differently in general. So take that on board. I hope you liked this little video. If you did like it, then please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and hit the subscribe button because I like to post health and fitness tip videos every Monday. And throughout the week, you might see a workout or a recipe video posted here and there too. So if you'd like to stay up to date with my videos, then hit the subscribe button because I just love sharing these kind of videos. I love sharing what I know and what I've experienced to be able to help you and hopefully add some kind of value to your life. If you're someone who's stuck and needs a gym program, then don't be afraid to ask me and let me know because I like to spend the time to personalize and customize programs for each individual depending on your goals. So if you're one of those people, then don't be afraid to get in touch with me just by sending me a quick message or a DM on Instagram. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.